with a special camera, we can watch life within the butterfly egg. After about a week, the butterfly egg hatches. But what we see is not a butterfly at all. It's a baby caterpillar. At birth, he's a fun fellow. His head seems much too big for the rest of his body. And like most babies, he's... Many times, the baby caterpillar's first meal will be his own empty eggshell. This is just the start. His main food is the leaf of the anise plant on which he was born. The growth of a young caterpillar is truly remarkable. After just a few days, his appearance has changed a great deal. He is now much larger, and his skin is an entirely different color. As he stuffs himself with anise leaves for another two weeks, the caterpillar will show further changes in appearance. Instead of looking like this, he'll grow into something like this a full-sized caterpillar. Just a few short weeks makes all this difference, the direct result of an enormous appetite. A butterfly caterpillar is almost all stomach, and keeping that stomach full of tender green leaves appears to be his only purpose in life. There's a good reason for this huge appetite. The caterpillar is stored, and he will need this food when he enters the next stage in the life of a butterfly. But while he's still a caterpillar, he needs protection from birds and other hungry creatures. And the one who made him has not left him helpless. The caterpillar has been given a simple defense, but one that really works. Whenever danger comes near, he shoots out two small horns, which fill the air with a strong odor. This odor has earned the swallowtail caterpillar the nickname, the skunk of the insect world. Wherever he goes, the caterpillar is by eight pairs of legs. The first three are jointed. These will be his only legs when he becomes a butterfly. The other legs are little... After several weeks as a caterpillar, he is ready for the next big event of a silken loop is an important step in his preparation. First, he ties down the ends of the loop. Then he weaves strand after strand until it forms a strong cord. And once again, we see the creator's thoughtful care for living things. For unknown to the caterpillar, in a few days, this cord will become his life belt. After the cord is finished, the caterpillar performs a neat bit of gymnastics and ducks his head through the loop. He adjusts his life belt very carefully and then hangs quietly for several days. During this period, his extra pairs of legs mysteriously disappear. The rest period comes to an end when the caterpillar body begins to twist and squirm. splits open, and from it begins to emerge something that is no longer a caterpillar and is not yet a butterfly. What we see emerging is a greenish-white case called the chrysalis, in which the caterpillar body will be changed into an adult butterfly. 
the pumping and squirming continue as the old skin of the caterpillar is shaken off. But this whole mysterious change from caterpillar to chrysalis, how does he manage it? He's never done it before. He's never seen another caterpillar do it. But yet he does exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. Of course, all this is much more than just an accident. Every step has been carefully planned so he will live through the next stage of his life. Can you spot the chrysalis in this picture? Ah, pretty well hidden, wasn't it? This blending of the colors into the background is no accident. It is deliberate camouflage. The caterpillars forming these chrysalids were all of the same type, the Anna Swallowtail. Fed the same food, raised under identical conditions, there was just one difference. They were placed on different colored sticks just before entering the chrysalis stage. The emerging chrysalis does not immediately bear any resemblance to its environment. At first, it is greenish white in color. Almost immediately, however, there is a striking change in color that agrees perfectly with the surroundings. This camouflage is the only protection the helpless insect has during the two weeks or so, it hangs quietly, awaiting its day of liberation. When this day arrives, the insect jerks violently for a few moments, and then the chrysalis pops open. And from it emerges an adult insect, the butterfly. Of course, he still doesn't look much like a butterfly, because his wings have not yet filled out. But this process won't take long. If you watch very closely, you'll see it actually take place. Tiny tubes within the wings are being filled, some with blood, some with air, and some with a liquid that will soon cement, giving rigidity and strength to the butterfly's wings. Have you ever wondered about the beautiful coloring of the butterfly's wings? Under a microscope, we can see that this coloring is due to row after row of feathery scales packed closely together, like shingles on a roof. Each tiny scale adds to the beautiful design, and it takes many, many thousands to cover the wings of a single butterfly. And now the Anna Swallowtail butterfly is fully grown. Where does the butterfly come from? Now we know. We have hidden among the leaves of the Anna's plant. Next, the busy caterpillar, working hard to store up food. Then the chrysalis, a cozy cradle from which will emerge the butterfly. We have explored one of God's most beautiful secrets. We have discovered not only his great wisdom in creating this lovely creature, but also his thoughtful, wise God is concerned about all his creatures.